right. Speaking of getting it in, let's talk about my man, Neil Everett, who is now getting out of ESPN. Yes, he's leaving ESPN, the four letters after 23 years of service. So the famous sports center anchor confirmed he's the latest on air talent to leave during the Walt Disney Company's mandated downsizing of ESPN's on air and TV talent. So one source said Everett was offered a new deal at a reduced salary and turned it down, similar to what Kenny Mayne did. Y'all remember that in 2021. Another said his contract was not renewed. Now, let's talk about this. He was offered a 61% pay cut, Kenny Mayne, back in 2021. Why does that matter? So now you're saying that Neil Everett was offered a reduced salary, probably in that same world. You're making a million dollars. All of a sudden, now you're making, what, 390000 Not the end of the world, but it's a different world. Let's just be real about that. So was he offered a new deal, reduced salary, or no deal at all? Let's continue to talk to it. He's 61 years old, and he's been the man forever. From Portland, we all know, did 15 years in Hawaii. That's why he always starts off with the aloha and get some love from there, was working with Stan Everett, Stan Verrett, I should say, from 2009. And let me tell you when I knew the writing was on the wall, it was gonna be a wrap for my boy. When Ashley Brewer showed up, and that's my homie right there, we had the same agent as well. We did some work together on ABC years ago. And when Ashley showed up, they had the three man woman rotation going, right? And I thought that was interesting because they're in here in L.A. and they got three people working the show that only needs two. Is somebody taking off that often? So I was already like, ooh, they about to lower the ceiling on this show right here. But they still made it a few years from that point. We know the budget cuts are real. We know that in this situation, somebody had to go. Now let's talk about it. Why you think that Neil left? i tell you why I think he left. Because he was tired of the conversation or the reality of taking less, right? To do the same thing when there are more things out there to do than ever. He covers the pregame, postgame for the Portland Trailblazers. He has other interests outside of this. And at this point in his life, 61 years old, you're like, dude, am I getting the same meaning? Am I getting the same fulfillment? And let's be real, am I getting the same compensation? Because I'm going to do the same work. And now all of a sudden they're saying take less. Why would I take less when there are more opportunities out there? I just got to bet on myself. Pretty scary to do at 61 years old, but still something that you should always put your bet on yourself. So the content space is so robust. We know he's going to find his way, going to find his niche and he's gonna get it in. So those side hustles that he used to have now have become the main gig. The last part about this was interesting because it was brought to my attention that we know Stan Verrett's black man, we know Ashley Brewer, white woman, so that's a minority too. People don't even say that a lot of times. See a white woman, you ain't think she a minority, but like, oh, I forgot, she a woman. That is a minority. Even though they're the majority in this world, I don't know, that's what they just say. But I did know this. Woo, Neil, you were in trouble when they had a three-man woman set and you were just a white male. <laughs> I was like, in today's world, brother, you're going to find out what it feels like to be a minority. So now he's the odd man out in this situation. Y'all, what y'all think of the move? You think it was a good move? You think he's going to land on his feet? Think it's going to be a struggle without him? You think it's going to be a struggle for him going forward? Let's go in those comments and talk it through.